We're gonna answer the age old question. How do you get one of these in one of these? Doesn't work normal style because the rubber grips the edge, so let's get it wet. Now if we try, observe the difference. There is none. Because this bottle is actually full of air and the balloon is totally sealing the top of the bottle. So when I push on it, it's pushing against all the air inside the bottle. It's not working. So we need to get all the air out of the bottle and you should know already the way that we did that was by heating up the air inside of it. So all you need for this demo is a balloon full of water. We don't actually use water balloons. We use normal balloons. You just have to have a faucet that you could put the rim of the balloon around the faucet. Usually you can just screw the end piece off if you have some giant weird mom waters or plants with the faucet faucet. Um, anyways, so to make our fire, we're gonna use some paper towel rolled up in a screw, a barbecue lighter, pop it in, and then as soon as the flame goes out, I'm gonna put the balloon on top. Watch what happens. Here we go. Notice my fire extinguisher, my goggles, and my bun hair. Safety first, especially when there's children present. All right, so our fire is in our bottle. As Soon as the flame goes out, the balloon goes on top, goes right inside. It's insane. Um, and to get it out, all you gotta do, not working. Um, you just gotta get the dangly thing of the balloon and then you pull on it. Nope, that doesn't work either. We need to somehow create a way for the air outside the bottle to go inside the bottle to lever, level out the pressure zones. And the way we're gonna do that, there's all kinds of fancy ways you could pretend to smash it or um, really all you can do is pretend to smash it, pop the balloon. But if we wanna keep them both intact, straw is a tunnel for the air to travel inside and outside the bottle. Come out balloon. And so it does, balloon in the bottle.